So tonight I thought maybe on the rare outside chance I could get some footage of the black moon. What I got was something even better. So here's my setup and here's my compass heading. So because of all the big trees that I have around my house, um, I have to make a plan to go out to film a, a sunrise or a sunset to get it really good. And so I came out to this location right here. This is a little cafe. I parked in this last parking spot and set up the camera right here. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to take this out to about 10 miles. And we had a heading of 255. So right Right about there is the way that I filmed this sunset. Now the total footage that I filmed was 30 minutes long. In this first 46 seconds, I have it 15 times speed. Uh, it's sort of boring, but I wanted to leave this in here to give you some context as to um, what the setup was. Now the rest of the footage from uh, here on out, I have at three times speed. Uh, that way I could get this this whole 30 minutes of footage into you know an approximately a 10 minute uh, video, a little bit easier to watch. Now pay close attention because you're going to see clouds that are in the foreground that you can distinctly see in front of the sun and you're going to see clouds in the background. You're going to see the sun set directly through the clouds. Now there's clouds all the way off into the horizon in the background. So you should be able to start seeing that this is, an, is not the sun setting over the horizon. Watch the hot spots on the, on the clouds that are behind the sun. As the sun gets near, it creates hot spots on those clouds. And now we get to see clouds in the foreground again, between us and the sun, showing that it's not 
just the brightness of the sun that's overpowering. You can distinctly see the clouds when they are in front of the sun. Now I'm also adding this freeze frame right here to point out how when a bird flies in front of the sun that it, you can still see it because I have other footage where I can see the birds fly behind the sun. Also notice that with this uh, telephone pole, it's still visible and not overpowered by the sun. It, it gets distorted a little bit, but it's still clearly visible. Also pay attention to that cloud on the left hand side of the sun. It's clearly behind the sun, not in front of it. Now look at that sky. It's clouds all the way to the horizon. And that's the west. There's no way that that sun would have been visible with those clouds behind it for a ball or a sunset or for a flat or a sunset for the sun heading off into it. Now for the rest of this footage just study the clouds and think to yourself how a baller sunset or a flatter sunset how could they light the sky like that just, just pay attention to the lighting of the clouds <laughs> 